Welcome back 164 scale die cast collectors and fans. I've got some cool new green light stuff to show you. Compliments these previous green light releases of these 164 scale Winnebagos. Now introducing one of my favorite series from Greenlight, the heavy duty HD trucks. A series of three new vehicles. We are on release 9. Series 9 just released August 2017. My favorite of the bunch, and that's why I showed you a few of their older releases, the Winnebagos, is this Condor. Big 164 scale all metal camper RV. As well as we will be opening up all three of these other vehicles, or all three in total. Including the International Juristar Ambulance. And the International Juristar Postal Box Truck. USPS truck. That's how I get most of these things delivered so I can make videos for you is through the United States Postal Service. What a fitting tribute. Also in this video some hobby exclusives from Greenlight. Only my choice picks. We've got the 2016 Ford F-150 Lifeguard. The Dodge Ram 2500 Power Wagon package with some awesome graphics. All these getting opened up. A quick look at the package as well and rounding it all out this was something I was super excited about another hobby exclusive 1970 Ford F-350 ramp truck with truck driver also getting opened up the 1970 Ford F-100 from All Terrain Series 5 and Ford trucks celebration of 100 years this is a six vehicle set the 1967 Ford F-100. On how also, cool yeah. this truck is, it looks like it's straight out of Mad Max. Definitely one of the coolest all-terrain trucks and Ford F-100 or F-150 releases that we've seen to date. Amazing paint graphics on it. Opening hood. Big off-road package on it. And anyways, we're going to do a full review on all of this cool stuff in the next few minutes. The Greenlight Heavy Duty Truck Series has been released now for several years and is going strong, stronger than ever I would say. Still featuring similar packaging from the original release on one out of at least three of the vehicles. On the back of the standard HD Trucks packaging you will see all three vehicles to be collected in the series. And of course we have all three of those here for you right now. This one will be getting opened up. These are all very heavy, heavy duty castings. Priced at somewhere between $8 and $10 US. With the conversion, I buy them at about $11 to $12 Canadian. The next one here we have is the United States Postal Service Delivery Box Truck. As mentioned previously, another very heavy all metal casting. With opening back doors and a detailed interior box. Dually wheels. All rubber tires on these things. And just to take a look at the Condor in its packaging. Route 66. This is a packaging format we've seen before. With the other campers I showed you previously on the uh, diorama. Junkyard diorama. We will look at them all together once again. Once we look at the Condor loose. And on the back. Standard packaging. Not too much crazy going on. I don't know if we looked at the back of the Postal Service one. More than 240 years of USPS history. You can pause on that to read it all out. One of the main things I thought was interesting was 211,264 vehicles are in service currently with the USPS Postal Service. Although not part of the Heavy Duty Truck series, it does feature the same packaging format and size. This Hobby 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 exclusive featuring the green reflective tampo on the card art and a really cool backdrop behind this 1970 Ford F-350 ramp truck. The second paint job for this vehicle, the first one was the red version with the Cobra which I will uh, put side by side with this one once we open it up. There is quite the little read on the back, you can pause on that if you'd like to read the whole thing. Very cool truck, awesome new Tampa work, so we'll get that one open up for you and we'll park this all-terrain heavy duty truck on the back of it. This one features an opening hood, as will the ramp truck. 
big detailed engine under the hood actual spare rubber real rubber tire in the back roll cage all metal the plastic uh, axle lift kit works very well with these vehicles and a tremendous amount of detail on this truck as always with all green light vehicles a very sturdy vehicle and an awesome roller as well now I must admit this is the only all-terrain series 5 vehicle I did pick up as I am not sponsored it is becoming quite unaffordable for me to buy everything I like from Greenlight as much as I would love to the rest of the vehicles in this series are listed on the back which you can pause on that most of these vehicles we've seen before and we have seen this casting before but not in this cool configuration with the push bar the roll bar the spare tire and just this is an awesome awesome job on this one and actually I chose to buy two of this one one key packaged and the one we saw loose just because I love it so much and I think that's gonna be a fan favorite hard one to find on the shelf I am sure also the same story goes with this one it although part of a six vehicle 100 year celebration of Ford trucks set which is not listed on the back um, anyways cool packaging I really like these old Ford trucks and so this is the one I chose to pick up out of an assortment of Ford vehicles and trucks that were being commemorated for a hundred years so we will open that one up as well 1967 versus 70 very similar and uh, but with different details of course green lights terrific for doing that flashing forward to 2016 Another hobby exclusive here. Rescue vehicle with lifeguard accessories. And boy, do they really deck this thing out or what? It's got uh, the uh, surfboard on the top. The little rescue boards, whatever those are called. Sirens. The back rack. Lots of Tampa work on this thing. We're going to get it opened up for you, of course. And some really cool card art on it with the waves. When I open these up, I carefully cut the plastic around the perimeter of the package so I can keep the card art and uh, that's what I have going on here I got a whole stack of the card art just at least that way I can uh, keep track of all the vehicles and their cool card art in the future maybe make a little library book out of it sort of thing of all my die cast stuff anyways moving on this is really cool another hobby 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 exclusive Dodge Ram 2500 power wagon check this truck out it is mean looking red grill with the uh, flat black finish red anyways we're gonna get out its package we'll look at all the details and all metal base with the lift kit on it of course some big knobby licensed tires and spoked rims on the back it is the most capable off-road full-size pickup you can pause on that and read all about the Hemi Power Dodge Ram 2500 at your leisure and without further ado let's get into a cracking party and open all these awesome vehicles up all three of the heavy duty trucks are now out of their package let's take a closer look at some of these awesome heavy pieces of die cast big machinery very heavy duty all metal vehicles very small amount of plastic on them really just for details and small chassis parts and we'll compare them against some other vehicles that have been released previously in the heavy duty truck series but first check out all the details on this Jurstar post box truck very detailed interior it does have a ramp which slides in and out of the little area there so your guys can get in and out to remove the parcels and doors shut nicely big heavy truck rolls very nicely love the blacked out wheels on it and behind it we've got a very nice looking Las Vegas fire and rescue paramedic truck just a ton of details on it as well also all metal these trucks feature big rubber dually tires on the back three screws hold the chassis to the body and cab so you can actually take these things apart pretty easily if you want to mix and match the equipment that's on the back of the trucks and this thing is just bristling with parts 
the big old Condor too. Awesome vehicle with tons of interior details if you look through all the windows and details all the way around it. Air conditioners on the roof. Very heavy piece, plastic chassis. Assembled with three screws, has dually wheels as well. Very authentic wheels on it for this type of vehicle. Let's get it next to some of the previously released campers from Greenlight and just see how they all look in the RV park together. Greenlight certainly knows how to make a detailed camper from yesteryear, the 1972 Condor and previous releases also seen from Dale's uh, Winnebago in The Walking Dead. We've got the 1973 Winnebago here and of course from Breaking Bad this is a familiar 1986 Fleetwood Bounder. All these vehicles perfect 164 scale look terrific with all of your other 164 scale vehicles in your collection including of course your other green light vehicles and highly detailed I have taken one of these things apart and discovered it was built up of about 75 individual pieces take a look at the Ford F350 this is a 1970 model from the hobby exclusives in the background I have a previous release from a heavy duty series uh, this is the first release it came with a black Cobra which fits nicely on the back bed of the truck. It's got the movable ramps, the opening hood. And this truck is a recolor of that one. Basically the same otherwise. Also features the opening hood, the detail engine. Like how it says green light towing on the door with a Ford emblem. And this time instead of a car it comes with this little driver figure also perfectly to scale for the vehicle really like the wheels on this truck big authentic heavy duty commercial truck wheels true dualies rolls quite nicely and let's demonstrate those ramps as we load up an old junker car I found in my junkyard diorama alright buddy time to load up that old junker winch it up onto the back the truck actually does have a little detailed winch on it as well and the ramps fold up nicely they can go straight vertical or even past that depending on the size of the vehicle you're towing but I think this old wrecked husky car on the back of the green light is more fitting uh, for a green light towing truck whereas this other model here is more from a show vehicle perspective I would think let's finish off the video by looking at these awesome pickup trucks here I already showed you this one quite a bit in the start of the video. One last recap on it. Really nice. And a similar model. This is the 1967 now out of its package. Also features the opening hood. The big blue Ford engine. It's got original hubcaps on it. License plates. All metal. No lift kit on this one as you can see by the chassis. And you can see how green light is able to put lift kits on these metal chassis quite unique uh, method of doing this and it works out very well for detailing vehicles and here's a newer Ford the lifeguard truck now out of its package you can take a closer look at some of the detailed things in the back all the cool tampos on it very very detailed all metal truck check out the front of it looks like a real Ford coming down the street really cool truck that's a hobby exclusive another hobby exclusive the power wagon the big Dodge 4x4 power wagon it's actually got that uh, right into the die cast on the back very heavy vehicle as well got the lift kit on the bottom of the metal base huge knobby tires on this thing rolls really nice just as always green lights do green light has come a long way with uh, ensuring the quality on the axles and wheels not very often you have to straighten a tire and uh, of course that's always uh, always a concern with some collectors even the big old camper rolls nicely so that's the uh, green light heavy duty trucks as well as some hobby exclusive things I wanted to show you this time around and we've got lots more green light stuff coming up not those, those are the old ones, just doing a pan over here. 
but lots uh, more cool things to show you. Uh, stay tuned for more videos.